Hello everyone, Crystal Vigia here. Welcome to Objects in the Mirror Are Closer Than They Appear. Interesting, very interesting title. Let's watch the cutscene. Hey, Muggsy, look, a witness. Get that stupid rabbit. No problem, boss. Ooh, it's a chase. It seems like the cutscenes are kind of a bit like slow on this version, on the power version, but who knows, who knows. Anyway, I've never done this before. This is completely blind. Oh my, we're driving. Holy shit. This is awesome. Sorry about my enthusiasm. Well, no, I should not apologize for my enthusiasm. Anyone that is attacking enthusiastic people, die. But seriously, this is awesome. This is actually really cool. Okay, um, I'm liking this already. This is kind of... Oh, shit. <laughs> Death. But I kind of like this. This is kind of... A, you know, I, um, I was kind of... In a way, you know, mate, don't shoot, don't shoot me for saying this, but I was kind of getting sick of the platforming conventions. I was kind of a bit like, you know what, let's have a break. I, you know, like something with something like Crash 3, I'm happy to do like no, absolutely no, um, I'm happy to do like absolutely no, you know, um, multi sort of things. I'd rather just platform the entire time. But with a game like this where the engine and the general physics of the game and, and controls aren't that great, um, I would definitely be happy to do, um, you know, like some extra sort of random, you know, non-platforming challenges, so we missed a, we missed a, um, thing oh, are you serious? this is so cool and the music as well, this is, this is like um, oh shit, I died wait, let's, let's actually turn around no, oh, no, 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 come on, come on let's, let's suicide, suicide there we go, cool, actually, yeah you know, what? this is almost, almost better bloody controls than, um What's it called? Um, what's that game called again? Um, oh shit, I missed it again. We'll get it later. Um, it's almost better controls than bloody uh, Crash Crash 3 one, except not really. But I mean, they did do a Looney Tunes racing game. You want to see an LP of that, go check out the AFH-013's LP. He hasn't actually finished it yet. Um, he's been a slacker. Nah, it's actually it's a difficult game, so I'll probably do an LP of that as well. Maybe even after before Time Busters, because I know it won't be a very long LP, um, so yes, there's that, but this is fun, I'm actually, I'm, I can genuinely say I'm having fun, and once again, you know, not, me not being a Looney Tunes buff, but, oh, that's pretty cool, my friend, um, Matt, my friend Matt in, uh, IRL, or whatever, he loves Looney Tunes, he's got, like, the Looney Tunes collection, he's, like, watching, like, all of them at the moment, and, um, you know, he he probably you know definitely comment on the, the realism or the the way this game looks. It's this is actually the best looking level I've seen so far. This is freaking fantastic. There's, look at the varied you know gameplay. I mean, yeah, he's still driving something or riding something, but it's this is this is brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant. You know, like well done. Thank you, developers, for for making something like this. This is just really really great. Um, Artificial Mind and Movement, who developed the game. You know, I'm really, I'm really proud of you for making a level like this. It seems like they really were in, in their element when doing 1930s levels because this is freaking awesome. And okay, we're reset. We're, we're riding on this. Uh, we. This is kind of fun. No, it's, I cannot believe it. I'm having fun. I know. Can you believe it? I'm having fun. Now, you press X and you get a uh, a ringing bell sound. So, thanks. Right, and pressing triangle does nothing, so I'm just trying out all the buttons. Wait, no, nah, nothing else. Okay, cool. Okay, so we got an Acme truck. It's an Acme railroad, isn't it? Wait, okay, big jump, and you don't actually have to jump, by the way. So yeah, I wonder what else they're gonna do in terms of, um, you know, like uh, non-platformy levels. And damn it, I shall be back. Shit! Whoa, that was very close, very close. Oh wow. Okay, this is that was difficult. That was difficult. Now we finally go into the barn. I wonder what is in this barn. Oh, not in the barn. Oh, cool. This is so cool. Can I actually jump? Or yes, I can actually. Now I can actually jump. So they even slightly changed the engine based on everything that you travel on. This is so impressive. Seriously, maybe I'm just like you know I don't know an idiot. But this really, maybe I'm just easily impressed, but this impresses me. This makes me think, you know what, they actually were onto something here. And it's just the execution that isn't perhaps the best thing about this game. It definitely has some issues in, in terms of um, that. But, you know, you have to, you got to be critical of games, you know. Like, you can't, 
you can't just, you know, be 100%, this is it, perfect, you know what I mean, like, there's very few perfect games, you know, I personally find Spyro 2 and 3 to be perfect games, other than, like, there's the fact that they're a bit rushed, and that's not their fault, but, thank you, Moyle, I know what you're going to say, yeah, goodbye, Moyle. Okay, let's go back and get the remaining ones. But, you know, this game definitely, like, it, there's just so many, like, levels like that that make me go, yeah, this is a fantastic game. But then, or a good game, but then there's, then there's kind of, like, other levels where I'm like, yeah, this is kind of lame. So, anyway, let's collect the final uh, ones. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut because, yeah, this is probably the easiest one to control and it's kind of the coolest, maybe, I guess. But, yes, I shall be back. There's one right there and got it. Yes. 13. We've only got one more to get now. Sorry, not one more. we got two more. we got one here, which is easy. And yes. And then let's cut to the next one. Woot. Now, let's get the final one, wherever that may be. I'm pretty sure it's over here, so... Um, what one was it that I missed? I can't remember exactly what it was, but... Oh, and I just jumped on that pig. Didn't know I could do that. This game, I tell you. Classic times. Classic times classic times indeed. Alright, so the, four, the final one should be somewhere. Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Okay, ready, ready, big jump, and done. All 15. Alright, you know what? Should we just, you know, let's just travel. Yep, we're done. We're done. Excellent, okay. Thank you. Now, let's go back. What, what level do we unlock now? Um... Please, you know, let's just go check the Stone Age. Do you unlock anything else? Wabbit on the run? No, we don't. Okay, you know what? I'll find out what we unlock in the next part. <laughs> and then we'll go to that level or whatever the hell. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. In the next part, don't even know what level I'm going to go to. So, you shall see.